Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel. So today we have another anti-haul and I did one of these a few months ago. You guys seem to really, really like them. So I noticed that a lot of beauty companies are coming out with some new stuff for spring, I guess. And some things seem really, really cool, but a lot of stuff is kind of like not so much so I thought it'd be a good time to do another anti-haul so I've just been taking screenshots from like Instagram post and Ulta and Sephora's websites and we definitely have a few things to talk about so if you like this video don't forget to let me know by giving me a big thumbs up and subscribe and today is another 12 days of giveaway so stay to the very end to see what we're giving away today um, but without further ado let's get into it Alright, so the first thing is something I got off of Trend Mood, which is an Instagram account that's always leaking and sharing the latest and greatest in beauty. And this is from Cover Effects, and they're glitter drops. And they're supposed to be kind of like, if I understand correctly, those highlighting drops uh, that are like super, super, super intense. I don't own any personally. They're a little too crazy for me. Um, but these are like iridescent. It looks like they have three colors, a blue, a like iridescent kind of purpley pink, and then like a cream. Um, yeah, I don't really want glitter on my face if I can't help it. I mean, maybe if you're going to like a concert or something or like a party, that could be kind of cool, but believe it or not, I don't really go to concerts or parties or anything really cool, so I don't think this is for me. Alright, next thing I have is more of a collection kind of thing, and it's the new Too Faced Unicorn Collection. First of all, Too Faced, you are like two years too late on this whole unicorn trend. I mean, that is like come and gone. And they have so many little things. Just from the picture I'm seeing, there's some sort of rainbow highlighter. There's like a rainbow brush. I think that's a Too Faced brush. Um, a weird eyeshadow palette that's in the shape of a, um, what is it called? A rainbow. But it's like very like pinky colors that I'm not feeling. Maybe like a shimmery bronzer with an actual unicorn in it and some sort of like highlighty stick. I don't know. None of it seems appealing to me. It seems a little juvenile and it seems two years too late. So definitely don't really plan on picking up anything from that collection. Next thing is from KKW Beauty and I don't even know what these are actually called. Um, I guess the ultra light beams if I'm reading the hashtag correctly. So it's basically like a loose little pigment and a coordinating gloss that you can use together. I saw Tati do a review on it and they just didn't wow me and I just I don't know. I just don't need them. I don't really like loose pigments for eyeshadow. I don't always use lip gloss. Like, I have my top, like, two, and that's really all I need. And they're probably, like, somewhere between $30 and $40, which I guess isn't, like, an awful price for two products, but I feel like they look kind of small. So, I don't know. They just don't call to me, so I don't plan on getting them. And staying on that kind of Kardashian train, the new Kylie Cosmetics Christmas Collection... Nothing really, like, calls to me. It's just been there, done that. The eyeshadow palettes are kind of, like, so-so. The lip kits, I just don't really need anymore. It's just, eh, I'm not really interested. And same goes with her new silver collection, I think is what it's called. She came out with, like, normal lipsticks, which maybe if they have good reviews, I might try one. Um, she came out with concealers, which, again, maybe if they have good reviews, I might try one. But I'm not, like, super, super pumped about it. And, of course, I have to talk about the brushes because she's charging so much for these brushes and they don't look that great, you know? I mean, for all I know, they might be amazing and I might want to try one. But they just don't, like, look super luxe to me. And, I don't know, I just don't feel like I need it. Moving on to Kat Von D. So it looks like she's coming out with little eyeshadow palettes. And this one is the metal one. And these colors just... I don't know, I'm kind of over warm eyeshadows. Not like I'm over wearing them because I think they look really pretty on, but I'm over buying them. Like I have my Jaclyn Hill palette, I have my Naked Heat, I have my Tarte Toasted, I have so many warm palettes. I'm just like, I don't need another one. And this one just seems kind of like, eh, I don't really need it, you know? Alright, next thing is from Sephora, and it's from Tarte, and it's called the Foil Finger Paints Shadow Palette. And it's from the Rainforest of the Sea collection. I don't really want to finger paint anything, let alone my eyeshadow. And these colors are just kind of like, eh. I mean, the packaging's really, really cute. But I mean, are they cream? I think they're cream. I just, I don't know. This just is not like something for me. All right, this next thing is something I'm totally, totally, totally against. And it is from Glam Glow, and it is their hashtag glitter mask 
gravity mud firming treatment. So this is basically just a gravity mud mask but with glitter in it. First of all, why would you put glitter in your skincare? Glitter is literally just shards of plastic and when you're washing that off that's just gonna cut up your skin unless they have some sort of magical glitter that doesn't cut your skin. Like that's just asking to get irritated. I mean it might look cool for like an Instagram post but it's not worth it y'all. Just get the normal gravity mud and just call it good. Alright, next is a eyeshadow palette from Urban Decay. This is called the Distortion Eyeshadow Palette. And the colors just don't really speak to me. And also, I'm just really not in the market for another eyeshadow palette. It really has to call to me or it has to be a part of a collection. Kind of like um, the Chocolate Bar from Too Faced or like another Urban Decay Naked palette that I'd buy just to have the complete collection because I'm a freak. But this one, it's just kind of like uh, the top row looks boring. The middle row has a lot of colors that I probably wouldn't use. And then the bottom row is just kind of like basic. So I don't feel like I need it. Alright, next is something I've seen in stores and I've swatched. But I just, I don't need it. And it's from Tarte. It's the Park Avenue Princess Bronzer and Contour Palette. I'm just not really big into contour palettes. Like unless it's like a highlight and a contour and that's all you get. I just don't need like three shades of highlighter and three shades of contour. Because I only have one face. And really, I only need like one shade of each. And I just feel like it's a little wasteful. And I'd rather spend my money on like a really, really good like Heaven of Quan sculpting powder versus like 12 different powders where I'm really only going to use one. You know what I mean? So I just don't think I need it. So I'm not going to get it. Going back to Kat Von D, this is the Metal Crush Extreme Highlighter Palette. This is just like way too iridescent looking for me and I've seen some reviews and it has glitter in it and it's just not something I need. And again, I'm swimming in highlighters and I don't really need a palette full of them because trust me, I have plenty. So in order for me to buy another highlighter, it has to be real, real special or real, real good and this one just doesn't seem to be really either. Next, it looks like we have another eyeshadow palette from Too Faced, and this is the Clover palette. And I've heard actually some pretty good things about this palette, but I've seen it in person, and it's just nothing I really need. Like I said earlier, I'm not really in the market for another eyeshadow palette, unless it's something that really speaks to me, or if it's something that fills out a collection, and this doesn't really do either of those, so just don't really need it, and the yellow really throws me off, so... And our final product is from Smashbox, and this is their Be a Legendary Pucker Up Lip Palette. They have two colors, one natural, one bold, and I don't really use lip palettes. I don't really know anybody who does unless, you know, you do makeup on other people, but for me it's way easier just to do a lipstick and just go for it versus getting your little palette and getting a little brush and, like, taking forever to do it. I'm sure it looks lovely, but it's just nothing I really need, so not gonna get it. Alright everyone, so that is everything for this anti-haul. Let me know in the comments what are some products that you do not see yourself purchasing in the near future. And let's do our giveaway for the day. So today I'm gonna be giving away this fresh skincare set. It comes with a full-size fresh soy face cleanser, which is one of my favorites. It's so good. I've used this and repurchased it so, so many times. And then it also comes with a sample of the fresh vitamin nectar vibrancy boosting face mask. That is the longest name ever, but this is such a good face mask. I have the full size. I love it. It smells like nectarines. It is so, so good. And I think that a lot of y'all would really, really like this little set. So if you want to win the skincare set, all you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment down below. And all the other rules will be in the description. But yeah, that is everything for today. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.